All right, it's Nick Hack in South China Morning Post, STMP Martial Arts. We're back with the Shadow Cat, Ji Hin Rajuan. How are you doing, Ji Hin? Yeah, I'm doing great. How are you? Yeah, I'm okay. Not too bad. Uh, you have a huge fight coming up this week. One on Prime Video 2. You are going to be fighting Stamp Fairtex. Is it fair to say, Ji Hin, this is the biggest fight of your career? You know, like, you know, every fight is like a, a another level, you know, like, like when you're playing games and then you get up to the next level and, you know, like I've, I fought Mei Yamaguchi, you know, big name. Uh, I fought Isuki, cute girl, big name as well. So this is another big one, you know. Yeah. And uh, in theory, if you win this, Jihin, you're going to beat the former number one contender. This could put you in a title contention. Is that something you're thinking about now? Yeah, you know, like... Uh, it actually, if you think of the fact, like I'm fighting the the number one top rank, and maybe if uh when I win this fight and I will get into that rank, but you know, like there's some controversial against like Ham fighting Angela. There's another one like Denise fighting Angela. You know, so I don't know. So it's it's up to one, whoever yeah. next, and I'm just going to accept it. That's as you say. There's so many options there for Angela's next fight in atom weight. Yeah, Ham so he is technically earned a title shot by beating Denise. Denise still earned a title shot a couple of years ago. Yeah. Uh, would you would you fight either of Ham or Denise if you needed to prove your you know you are the real number one? If one championship said, "All right, one more fight," um, you know, like I so far I never call off any. You know, like any other fight. So why not? We'll see how it goes. What one gives to me, and I just accept it. Yeah, and um, you are now in these rankings, top five. How, how, you know, how good was that feeling when you sort of see your name in the in the top five? Uh, was it something, you know, a real achievement for you, or just something that gives you motivation to keep climbing those rankings? Um, one thing is, of course, like I deserve the the the, the spots, you know, like in the top in the top five, but I think that I might get it earlier, but just because of like, you know, there's some, I, I, I don't know, but whatever it is that I, I deserve the spot. Yeah, absolutely agree. And it's just been great to see your progression. Do you, do you feel just getting better? You're still so young. You know, like uh, during off season, we've been drilling a lot of like new techniques. We've been like, you know, like, improving our striking and everything and I uh watch a lot of like fights video and to improve the you know like to to get the more idea of fighting and improving. You know, you're not going to stay the same same uh, in every fight. Absolutely. Ed. It's been great to see your progress in one. You you've pretty much had your whole career in there, haven't you? Um you've had to almost grow up in one championship, but you feel you're now sort of Finally, the the completed version of Jihin Radzua. Not complete, but it's almost done. <laughs> <laughs> um, and and also, how great is it just to represent Malaysia and uh, put them on the map in MMA? Of course, it's it's very honored to like you know like representing Malaysia. Like it, there's not many fighters like active actively fights in one championship now, and. To be able to like fighting in one championship and to be active is like a great, great opportunity for me. And it is, it's, I'm very grateful and thankful to be active. And, you know, like one day if I, if I get to fight the belt, the championship belt and might win the belt is very, you know, like it's, it's very a big achievement for Malaysia because like in MMA, except uh, like besides Aguilan, there's, no, no one. All right. And just talk a little bit about Stamp. Uh, what are you expecting from her? And um, how are you going to go about this fight? You know, what is your game plan? I know you can't give too much away, but what are you wary of, shall we say? Um, so, you know, like Stamp always put on very exciting fight every time. And I just need to like uh, not giving her space when it comes to striking and try to kick her down. Yeah, do you, do you think she'd be able to handle uh, your ground game? You know, she's been improving it a lot. Obviously, she grew up, you know, with striking. 
But uh, do, do you think she can match you down there? Um, for the striking, of course, she's been doing Muay Thai forever. And as you can see from the, her previous fight or so, like for the striking, it's like about the same for the footworks. And like if you give her too much space and she's get too comfortable and she will, you know, like uh, shoot her shot. And for the sh uh, ground game, for the grappling, of course, you can see a decent techniques. But I believe in my skills. And we'll see how it goes on this Saturday. <laughs> yeah, we will. And do you, you know, I think most people might say you're the underdog. Do you, do you embrace that, you know, the challenge of proving people wrong? Mm, I could say that I'm an underdog and maybe I don't have that, you know, like enough media and I'm not very actively, you know, like in social media or anything. <laughs> so I have to tell myself more, I think. <laughs> Well, we've seen you on social media with the cats, you know, I think. How are they doing as well? Oh, of course, they are doing fine and I miss them. You know, like I have to win this fight to fit them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe get a nice bonus, 50K, that would be nice, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, yep, yeah, I know you've got to go uh, now, so I'll, I'll leave it at that. Thanks so much, Jihin. Uh, good luck for the fight and, um, yeah, all the best. Thank bye you. Bye-bye.